Hey friends, I got our friend Michael's the little friend we got that is autistic, has autism. This is his request for today, and so I don't mess it up, and because it's kind of long, I have put it on my computer, which is right there. I'm not going to be looking at you. I'm going to be looking at the computer, all right? And there's part of it that he wrote that he doesn't want me to share yet. He said it's for a later video, so, and it's kind of in the middle, so I've got to kind of pay attention to what I'm doing. I want to get it right, and I don't want to get the part done that he doesn't want done until later, so I'm going to be paying attention to over there instead of looking you eyeball to eyeball, okay? I love y'all. God bless each one of you. And y'all, in the comments down below, leave me about 2,000 messages that you're giving hugs to Michael because he likes hugs, and that's what this video is about. And I like hugs, too. You can give Michael and me both a hug. That's funny. My uh, After my mom died, a couple of years after she died, my dad remarried. And after I came back from England, I was at their house one evening. I, I moved back to the same town that they were in. And uh, so I was over at their house a lot. I was freshly divorced and kind of lonely and happy to see my dad again after being overseas for three years and all. And anyway, I hung out there a lot. And I'd, I've been a hugger all my life. And I'd always hug my dad and hug my stepmom after or when I was fixing to leave. And I... One evening I said something about I like to hug, and she said that she has always been a hugger. <laughs> and I misunderstood her, y'all. I've been almost deaf for a long time. I thought she said, I've always been a hooker. And I looked at her and I said, what? <laughs> and she, she said, what's the matter with you? I said, I thought you told me you've always been a hooker. She said, no, I told you I've always been a hugger. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, let me read what Michael's got for us today. And he, he wrote this last night after midnight. I was already conked out, I think. Or maybe I was up. I guess I was up because it was 4 o'clock when I went to bed, but I wasn't on the computer. He said, good night. My next request about some people to get uncomfortable with hugs. Talk about it, please, your next video. Request, please, hug some people can get uncomfortable. When I volunteer at hospital cleaning tables, got in a little trouble at volunteer work because people did complain one time that they got uncomfortable with hugs. Good news. After I got in trouble, everybody once I hug at volunteer work did not mind it, just others did not like it. I was more careful who I hug. I did go back hugging after being told everybody once did complain about it, even I did hug again. Also, talk about I want people to go to heaven. It is such a great place. And y'all, heaven and hugs, they kind of go together. They both start with the same letter. Did you notice that? H. H for hugs and H for heaven. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. You know there's going to be lots and lots, millions and millions of hugs in heaven. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. We're all going to get all the hugs we want and more in heaven. I'm, I'm going to go running to Jesus and hug Jesus first thing. And then I'm going to go find my daughter that's been up there for almost 10 years. And I'm going to hug her. 
And then I'm going to go find my buddy Michael and hug him. And then I'm going to hug my mom and my dad and my grandmas and my grandpas and just all kind of people. And then I'll start all over again. Anyway, let me finish here. Said heaven is such a great place. You would love it a lot. I want everybody to make it to heaven. I love them. Talk about it, please. I think Michael understands what's going on. I love it too. And I want all y'all to go to heaven. But you know, not everybody's going to go. A matter of fact, the Bible says most people are not going to go. There's going to be millions and millions and millions of people in heaven. But there's going to be billions and billions in hell. Remember that scripture says, Wide is the highway that leads to hell and destruction, and narrow is a pathway that leads to heaven and few there be that find it there's going to be way more people in hell than in heaven and as long as we're on earth friends we need to be sharing Jesus so that more and more people can believe and go to heaven that's what we need to be doing all right now he's got a part in here he doesn't want me to read yet he said that'll be for another video so I'm, I'm gonna omit that part for now let me see what else he said he said please share my story about hugging at volunteer work I did that and that he got in trouble one time but I think well I did not get in trouble again I, I shared all of that says, I am blessed it did not happen again. It was back in 2015. Even I went back at hugging. I never got in trouble again. That's the good news. <laughs> and that is good news, Michael. I'm glad you didn't get in trouble again, and I'm glad you had people there to hug. I, I wish we could hug you now. And we'll get to soon. I think the rapture's going to be very soon, and I guarantee you, friends, Michael is going to be in the rapture, and so am I, and I hope so are you. If you're not, or if you're not sure, we need to do something about that, y'all, and time is running out. We can't keep dilly-dallying around. Salvation is free, and salvation is easy. All the work necessary for our salvation was done by Jesus. There's no work for us to do. Jesus did all the work. Read 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4. That tells you everything that had to be done, and Jesus did every one of it. And the last words Jesus said as he hung on a cross just before he died, he said, it is finished. What was he talking about when he said it is finished? He was talking about everything that had to be done for salvation was finished. He finished it. All we got to do is what Acts 16.31 says, and Acts 16.31 says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That means believe everything that Jesus did for our salvation was done by him and we can be saved it's easy y'all you don't walk an aisle you don't shake a preacher's hand you don't pray a prayer we do need to repent of our sins it's our <clears throat> it is our sins that will send us to hell we need to repent of our sins we need to turn away from our sins but that's not work. That's just doing something that we need to be doing. Something we should have never done in the first place. But we're all sinners. We've all got sin. 
we got to turn away from them, walk away from them, believe on what Jesus did, and we're saved. That's that for this video, y'all. Short and sweet and bam, powerful. So there you go. Thank you, Michael. Hugs to you, my friend. And y'all, thousands of comments down below giving Michael a hug. All right. God bless you, friends.